we have a spotless sun and very quiet space weather. But all that's about to change. Those stories are more in the news this week. The space weather has really quieted down from a couple weeks ago when we had that big solar storm that brought us some gorgeous aurora in many places of the world. Since then, the Earth-facing disk has really cleared out. As a matter of fact, we have a spotless sun right now. The only thing we've got going is this uh, coronal hole here that is rotating into the Earth strike zone. Here in the next day or so, we should be getting some fast wind from that, and it might actually bump us up to some mild storm levels, so we might actually get some more aurora. Switching to your M flare threat meter, you can see we are well below the sea floor when it comes to solar flare activity. As a matter of fact, we barely pop through the C class floor just with the flares that we've gotten. This means our solar flux is also extremely low. So, you amateur radio operators and emergency responders to the hurricanes, you are probably running into propagation issues. And I'm sorry to say that. We just don't have enough solar flux to really get propagation going. And this trend will continue, especially now that we're at a spotless sun. This will continue for at least the next few days. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see the last time we even had a solar storm was back in late September. This reached a G3 level storm. It brought us some gorgeous aurora all over the world, and it lasted kind of down into the beginning of October before it finally quieted down. Since then, we've gotten to unsettled conditions, and then mild conditions, and then pretty much no conditions. That's the way it's been. It's been extremely quiet over the past easily week or two, but this isn't going to last. We are going to anticipate that fast wind coming and hitting us in the next day or two, it could easily bump us up to active conditions, and who knows, we may even get some solar storm conditions out of this. So your aurora photographers, you may be in luck. And to get us in the mood for some more solar storming, we have some gorgeous aurora photos from the previous solar storm that happened back in the end of September, beginning of October. There was gorgeous aurora all over the world. We'll start with shots from Russia and in Poland. We had beautiful views in Norway and in Sweden. Aurora made it to Ireland and Iceland. Moving across the pond, we had tons of shots in Canada. Here's one from Ontario, and it was in British Columbia. It was seen in Manitoba and in Saskatchewan, and it was all over Alberta. Now, moving down to the United States, we saw it in Vermont and Illinois, in North and South Dakota. We saw it in Montana and in Minnesota. We saw it down to Iowa and clear down to Wyoming. We also saw it in Washington and in Oregon. And then down south, we saw beautiful views in Tasmania and New Zealand. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that fast wind. And at high latitudes, NOAA is anticipating minor storm conditions, even major storm conditions, starting around the 13th. As a matter of fact, they're giving about a 70% chance of a major storm at high latitudes. At mid-latitudes, uh, we're only expecting active conditions with about a 30% chance of a minor storm. And this should continue in through Friday. But around the weekend, things should begin to settle down. So you aurora for you better get your pictures in quick, and you amateur radio operators, you should get a reprieve for the weekend. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green. We have a spotless sun, folks, and the good news is that means there's no radio blackout potential at all. The bad news, of course, means that it is really affecting the solar flux. We are at the low end of the marginal levels for radio propagation, so you emergency responders to the hurricanes and the earthquakes and all of the natural disasters that are occurring, you're going to have some issues with amateur radio propagation. And this will probably continue easily over the next week until we start seeing some active regions rotate back on the Earth-facing disk. 
So despite the very quiet space weather over the past couple weeks, it looks like activity is finally about to pick up. We have some fast wind from that coronal hole that's moving into the Earth strike zone now. That should be hitting us here in the next couple days, and it could easily bump us up to storm levels. So you Aurora photographers, get your cameras ready. You might actually get some Aurora, maybe even down to mid-latitudes, eh, just barely. Now you amateur radio operators, it's a different story. For you guys, it's almost too much of a good thing. We have no uh, chance for radio blackouts because we have a spotless sun, which would be wonderful for you emergency responders, except for the fact that a spotless sun also means you don't have enough solar flux to keep radio propagation up and, and working. So you're going to have to suffer with that, and that's going to continue to be the story as we move closer to solar minimum. And hopefully within the next six days or so, we'll get some more active regions on the Earth-facing disk to bump that solar flux up to give you better propagation. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.